Hello everyone, it's Mark Berger, founder and executive director of the East Denver Origami Society, coming to you from the Origami Holiday Tree, which we put together this year, 2021. And today I wanted to point out to you a lovely dove that we made as part of the ornaments on the tree. This is a design by Sock Song, and he calls it the Songbird, appropriately. Uh, and now, if you follow me, we're going to go upstairs to the 13th floor, and I'm going to show you how to fold it. Let's go. Hello again, here we are back on the 13th floor. I'm sorry it took us a while. You would think that we had to take the stairs. Anyway, here is uh, Sock Song's songbird, or as we used it on our origami holiday tree as a dove. And now I'm going to show you how, how to fold it. It's really quite simple. And you, and you can ask people who are really pretty new to origami to help you out on the tree and ask, show them how to fold this model and they'll be able to grasp it uh, quite readily. And so, when it's folded in blue, it can be called a bluebird. Oh, that's clever. I didn't think of that. Good, good one, Marita. All right, so here's the bluebird of happiness. And now we're, I'm going to show you how to fold it. As you can see, it really doesn't matter uh, if you have paper that's white on one side and colored on the other. Um, I, I think it looks quite good. This has been folded out of double-sided paper. This is Star Dream paper. And this is uh, bulletin board paper. So both of these started out as a seven inch square. And uh, here we go. We're going to first fold the, the sheet in half diagonally, okay? And then we're going to fold it again in half, so we have quarters. Okay. So we fold it once, we fold it again, and now we fold this again, okay? We take, it's going to be two leaves here, so we're gonna fold one, like so, and then the other on the other side to match. So this is what our model looks like so far. And now uh, we're, so, so it's a uh, right isosceles triangle, point down, and we're gonna take the point and we're now going to fold that up to the top and if it's important to you, you could um, just fold this over and make a pinch so that you'll know. Can you see the pinch? Yes, it's oh. easy to see. Okay, so you can make a pinch there just so that you know you're, you've gotten it centered. Okay. So here's the model so far. And now we're going to take these two triangular flaps. Okay, we're gonna open that up. And now we're going to do an inside reverse crease. We're not doing any new creases, but we're taking this crease that is a valley fold. You see, and we're making it into a mountain fold. And we're doing that the same with this other fold. Okay? So it now looks like this. So now we go to the other side, we open it up, and we fold this, we reverse this, and we reverse this. So here's the model so far. Now after that, it's a matter of taking this existing edge right here and folding the wing up there. And then we turn it over and we find that crease right there. And uh, there's our two wings. 
Okay, now let's make the tail. And to do that, we take the uh, back side and we fold this along this crease, okay, like that. And then after we've done that, we take this and fold it to that crease. Okay. So we got one crease, open it, another crease, open it. And now we reach in uh, between the layers and we're going to squash this down like so and sharpen it up. Okay. So it was like this, put our finger in there and squash. So that's the tail. And uh, you can have the tail go off just to one side if you want, but when it's hanging on the tree, I like to have it, have it look like this. So now all that's left is to make the beak. And uh, if uh, you haven't uh, had a lot of practice in inside reverse folds, you might want to make a practice fold, taking all the paper here and folding it over like so. And you see that makes the beak, okay? That's a lot of paper, but you want to make sure you get the, uh, the paper to remember th those creases. And then you put your finger in from the bottom and push down and reverse those creases. And I think it looks good if, if the beak is almost a right angle to, to the neck. Then you open the wings a little bit, and there's uh, your bluebird. Now, if you want to hang it, here's what you do. You take, um, you take a needle, uh, do it right from this intersection, okay. and run a loop of th uh, thread, and, you, and, it's gonna, it, and you're going to knot this, but I find it pulls out quite often, so I recommend you take a little bead and run it through that loop and pull that. And then there's uh, a loop so that you can hang it off of your tree or, or whatever. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I hope you find it useful and beautiful and uh, have fun with it. I'll talk to you later.